to idikaimeriministry.com and you'll be able to find out what is happening. When you go to contact, contact us, you'll also be able to see the donation button and donate. So I want to see some of the first ones around the world to go to, <laughs> to, go to the new ministry website uh, to go and donate and, um, and rejoice with us. At least we, have, we are moving forward now. Um, uh, 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 surely. I want us to pray and to thank God for um, uh, those of you who have really been praying and been looking forward for God to begin to do mighty things through us. Let us pray. Almighty Father, we hallow your name. Your name is higher above all other names. Therefore, we sing to you this morning. And the song that we are about to sing to you covers every prayer we want to pray. We want to sing to you. And Holy Spirit, when you motivate me to sing, it means that you are about to use that song to give a breakthrough to thousands of people around the world. Therefore, the song goes this way. Your name is Friday, let me share with every one of you. Um, if you go to the new website, www.idikaimeriministry.com, and you look at our services, you will be able to see how the service of Friday uh, now looks like. Um, you see, when I finish ministering in the morning, I don't take phone calls from anybody because I want to use that time to be with God. I want to use that time to, to do some serious administrative work like writings and publishing. But I begin to take phone calls immediately. It is 12 o'clock and I am on Justin TV and I am on video and I am on the conference call. These are the days 12, uh, that is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Um, but if it is in the morning when once I come in and God pours out the power from 7 to 9, except on Saturday, that I will be there from 8, uh, from 8 o'clock, from everything start by 8 o'clock, from 8 o'clock to 9. But on Saturday, I will be there from 8 to 10. But after that, I don't take no 
number of phone calls. I want to make it in such a way that we all feel blessed and cared for. But on those four days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, once I come on by 12 o'clock, then you can call on the ministry line or you can call in on the conference call. So there will be nothing happening on Friday nights because on Fridays, I work from 12, that's after the morning prayer, that when I come on from 12, I will be here, I will walk straight from 12 in the afternoon till, is it 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock, around 5 or 6 or something like that. 6 o'clock, okay, from 12 till 6, non-stop. So, the, what will have been happening in the night on Fridays will be happening by 12 in the afternoon. So as to give people opportunity from all over the world to join the 12 o'clock one. And if you can't join it, the video will be there by the time you come back from your job for you to watch it. It's, it's interesting. But then you can also call me. You can also call me from that 12 o'clock. Yeah, from that uh, uh, on Fridays, you can call me, either you call in for your prayer request, you can call for personal things, and so on, from that time, uh, from 1 o'clock after the live conference call till 6 o'clock, and after that, I close for the day. So go to the website, www.idikaimeriministry.com, and you will see all this information is there about how the ministry runs from now on. Now, let me read to you from, from John. We've been reading John. Using it for our studies and for our prayers. John chapter 1 verse 46. And Nathaniel said unto Philip his brother, Can there, can there, you should read this way. Said to him, Can there any good thing, should I read, can any good thing come out of Nazareth? You know, they're still using this old English grammar. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? And uh, Philip said unto him, Come and see. This is interesting. Philip found his brother and said to him, We have found the one that Moses prophesied about, the prophets spoke about and prophesied about, Jesus, son of Joseph. He is the anointed Messiah. Come with me. I want you to join him too. Let's follow him. And um, Nathaniel said to Philip, Nazareth is such a small little place. <laughs> Can anything good come out of it? Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Jesus of Nazareth. Really? Of all places? The anointed one is coming out of Nazareth? Are you serious? Are you out of your mind? That is exactly what people are saying about you. Is anything good going to come out of you? Is anything good going to come out of your husband? He's totally messed up and you still love him? Is anything good going to come out of your wife or children? They're all messed up. What do you think the blood of Jesus was for? Or is for? What do you think it is for? Do you think Jesus shed his blood as a joke? Do you think that the son of God is a comedian? Or a joker? Do you think he was a, a ragamuffin or something? A hoodlum? A crazy person? An insane man? No way. 
What the Bible says about Jesus is reality. You believe in it or not believing in it is not essential. Because what is done has already been done. Something good came out of Nazareth. And that something good that came out of Nazareth is Jesus of Nazareth. People are saying to you, we've looked at your life history, the life history of people in your family. They never do well. People in your family, when they marry, they stay there for a few years, they go to another man or they go to another woman. How do you think something good is going to come out of your family? You guys are always broke. You guys never had money. People are always sick and dying in your family. And you are telling us that you are coming to change the entire place. Let me tell you something. You must go to God and tell God. Make me a generational breaker. Somebody that is going to break the evil in, in my family. Somebody that is going to break the insanity and wrongdoings in my family. Somebody that is going to break the witchcraft, the sorcery, the, the idol worship, the immorality, the things that have been holding the family captive. That you are now here to break it. The reason is this. Remember what I teach. If you don't destroy what has been destroying your family, sooner or later, it will turn around and come after you. That's how this thing works. Until you decide that you are fed up with what is it that made your father unfaithful, your mother unfaithful, you decide that you are going to deal with whatever it is and until you decide to deal with it sooner sooner or later is coming after you you are next because vampire is not gonna leave either the egg nor the hatchlings is not gonna leave if it has eaten the mother is coming to eat the baby. You better believe it. Whatever has been pursuing members of your family, if you do not pursue it, you are next. You are next. And that is the reason why many of you get married. Your marriage doesn't last. Sooner or later, what has been destroying marriages in your family will come after the man you are marrying or after the woman you are marrying. Deal with it now. Now is the appointed time to deal with the problems that have been pursuing, to destroy what has been destroying, and to reject what has been rejecting you. Fail what has been creating failure. Disappoint what has been disappointing the family. You must disappoint it. How do you do it? The blood. The blood. The blood of the Son of God. Jesus of Nazareth. Nathaniel said, said to Philip, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Yes. Jesus did. He is the good thing that not just came out of Nazareth, but that came out of heaven. Believe it. And everything about your life will begin to change. Hallelujah. Don't let people fence you in. You are nobody's cow. Don't let people box you in. You are not jack in a box. Don't let people cock you in. You are not soda. And don't let people trap you in. You are not the best. 
Don't let people haul you in. You are not a fish. Because when they have tried your weaknesses, then they want to capitalize on that and say, what happened to your father is going to happen to you. I want you to reject those things. Many of you, you hear this voice talking to you. A voice, I'm talking to somebody right now. What I'm doing now is serious. There is somebody on the prayer line this morning. There's somebody watching me on Justin TV. And there are people who are going to watch the video when it comes up. I tell you something. You've been hearing a voice since you were young. That what killed your brother or your sister is coming after you. And you've been hearing that voice. And if you're a man, hear me. Something has been talking to you. That what happened to your father will sooner or later happen to you. I want you to disappoint that voice by telling that voice, listen to me. I rebuke you. I disappoint you. I bind you. And I destroy your powers. You have no power whatsoever over me, over my dream, over my destiny. Now let me tell you what we'll be dealing with today. During the afternoon session, we will be freeing destinies. We'll be setting your destiny free. See, there are certain mastery mysteries and secrecy in the world that not many people are aware of it. Does not mean that because you are a son of God, as you can claim, that your destiny is free. Especially if your faith has not grown to a high level if it has not developed, if you have not gone through deliverance. And so it's not everybody that calls themselves deliverance ministry that, or deliverance ministers or deliverance ministry that you should go and let them begin to do deliverance for you. You'll be in big, big, big trouble. Now, let me share this with you. There are so many people whose destinies are still dark. Thou for dear Father, let thou be light, and let the light expose every darkness, every darkness. God Almighty expose the spirit of manipulation and deceit, everything that has been coming against your life, and you didn't know about it. Let the power of the Most High come upon you right now and destroy, destroy the failure, destroy the disappointment, destroy the breakdown of family life, destroy everything that has created unhappiness, bitterness, sorrow. Let it be destroyed. Let them be destroyed this morning. In the name of Jesus, I destroy causes. I free your destiny even in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over your life. I plead the blood of Jesus over your life. I plead the blood of Jesus over your life, over your family, over your finances, over your job, over your children, over your marriages. I plead the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Your destiny is like a star. And there is no darkness that has the right to hold your destiny back. That because of where you come from, because of your race, because of your past, your destiny is being held in bondage. I break these bondages. I command your destiny to be free from now on in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's see what happened in the next verse. Let's see what happened in 
you now. The next phase. When people tell you of things that they didn't expect you to do, people do not expect a millionaire to arise out of the family. Someone educated. When I mean by education, I mean someone who has survival skill. That's what I mean by learning and by education. <laughs> someone who has survival skill. Now, this is what I mean. They did not expect a creative person. They did not expect a scientist to arise out of the family. They did not expect somebody of greatness to arise out of the family. They never did. Here we go. There are people who have decided how your family is going to be. There are people who have decided that you can never be great. Because when you were young, you were a problem child. There are people who have decided that because of the way you talk, your skin color, because of what has happened in the family in the past, no millionaire will arise. No billionaire will arise. It is you who will say to them, come and see. Watch me. And you will see what I'll do. Watch me. Your job is not to cry or to sit back and be disappointed. Your job as a child of God is to say to them, listen, I carry within me the seed of Abraham. I do not just carry the mistake of Adam. I carry the blessing that was pronounced on me. I carry not just the disappointment and weakness of Abraham. I carry within me the greatness of Abraham and the blessing that we proclaimed on him. That's what I carry. And tell them, watch me. And not only that, watch my Jesus, watch my God, <laughs> watch the Holy Spirit, what he can do. The Holy Spirit specializes in taking what human beings have ridiculed, what they have mocked, and then he makes something out of it, something great, something mighty. God is a specialist in taking rejected things rejected people and formed them into great and mighty people. The Bible talks about him taking the poor and needy, making them to sit with the high and lofty in high places, taking them from the, from the ash, taking them completely from, from low places. And I know why God always goes to those low places. To choose the best and turn them into great, famous, and wealthy and rich people. The reason is this. Humility or meekness is a sign of greatness. Humility is a sign of greatness. There's nothing that God hates like arrogancy. Tell them, come and see. Come and see. Don't let people talk you to giving up. Listen, that is the word. Please put it down for me. Do not let people talk you into giving up. If people will do anything or talk you into giving up, then you are finished. Don't let people, that is the rich key, that is the key right there. Don't let people talk you into giving up. Because people will talk to disappoint, people will talk to discourage you. The reason is because many of them have seen your future. Or they have not seen it. I love the way God does it. If God allow everyone to see your future, they would have stayed. But because God does not allow people to see your future, many of them will walk away from you, which is good. 
so that those who did not contribute to the party have no right to the drink and to the food and to the dance. And I tell you today, I was talking with the, uh, with the, with the new administrator of the ministry, uh, and I was also talking with a couple of other people recently, and they were talking about that if somebody become a millionaire today, you will be surprised at those who will pay a fare or come by Greyhound or by Amtrak train. Some of them will come from other countries. Others will come from the south, from the north, midwest, east coast, west coast. And they will all appear at your doorstep. First, it will be phone calls. Don't you remember me? My name is Tom. I am uh, your brother's, uh, uh, your, your father's uh, brother. All this time that you've been poor, Tom, your uncle didn't look for you. Matilda, your auntie didn't look for you. Bridget, your cousin, did not look for you. Anthony, your nephew, never came for you. And you've been suffering and suffering. And then your daddy died, you buried him with a loan. Your mother was hospitalized, you were there. And because of it, your job got you fired for missing days. You, you refused to give up. And what happened? Finally, you said to God, enough is enough. I am entitled to life in abundance. And it began to happen. And what happened? And God began to lift you up. Even as you continue to push it up. Hey, <laughs> I love this. Woo! Please write that down for me. That's the key. As you begin to push it up, God will begin to lift you up. <laughs> I love it. Woo! As you begin to push it up, God will begin to lift you up. Don't think, don't, 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 don't waste the energy of God. God is trying to lift you up. And you are not trying to push it up. You are not trying to push the thing forward. You are not trying to be creative. You are not trying to look for opportunities and create one. When you begin to push it up, God will begin not only to back it up. Please put it there. God will not only back it up, He will also begin to lift you up. That is how this thing works. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I like it. When you begin to push it up, God will begin to back it up and then lift you up. Wow, that's beautiful. See, this guy is really smart. I'm telling you. Any guy is really smart. The Holy Spirit makes me smart. So, tell people, watch me. I'm coming. I'm on my way. And then suddenly, things turn around. You become a multi-millionaire. And then suddenly, all the people who gave you up, they begin to turn out. They begin to come out from the woodwork. They begin to emerge from the hoods of life. I'm talking of anyone in any culture, of any race, that's what's going to happen. You see people begin to emerge. You will also see people begin to emerge to try to blackmail you. Because now you've make you made it. They will come to accuse so as to take what you've worked hard. There are people who I usually I usually say this. If somebody did wrong 20, 30 years ago, why do you keep quiet about it? Finally, when you hear that that person has become very wealthy. I've made a lot of money, owns a lot of things. That's when you want to come out. I always say that is hypocritical. You want to take vengeance on somebody, do it when the person is even poor. When the person did it, do it. Don't wait until you say, hey, that name is familiar. I remember. No, 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 no. You're doing it because you're greedy for that.
that person's money and wealth. That person has worked hard to be up there. And you want part of that money? He said, no, it's not about the money. Less than it's about the money. It is the money you are looking for. That's why you are going for a blackmail. That's why you are going for court cases against that person. And sometimes there are people who doesn't even know you. And you decide that that is what you are going to. I mean, people do all kind of nasty stuff. That is why we must, when God has blessed us, you must fight and protect what God has given to you. And that is why many of us, we need to be married to very strong spouses. Very strong spouse. Like girl of Florida told me, she said she doesn't, she doesn't just want any little bitty little man. She wants a very strong, a very strong, tall dude. Somebody who is, when you see him, you, you flee. And he must have a beard. He doesn't want no baby face, man. I knew what she was. She was playing on, her, on words. She was looking for somebody to protect and provide. Why? Because she worked hard for what she has. Tell them, come and see. You say, I can't do it. That's even the reason why I will do it. I will become somebody. And it begins today. Your tomorrow begins today. Please write that down. If you want a tomorrow, begin it today. Don't wait until tomorrow. Begin your tomorrow today. Don't let people discourage you. Talk you down. Beat you up. Beat you down. Run you over. With their words. With their actions. And you fall for it. Don't fall for it anymore. It's about time. The voices you've been listening to. Will either bless you. Or destroy you. Let me continue to minister to you. May the almighty God. Fill you with power. Let every gathering of the enemy be destroyed completely. Let the thoughts and activities of Satan, his secret intelligence, his secret organizations, his secret moves against you, his decrees and invitation, I command them. Let them catch fire and burn. In fact, let me tell you something. Every actions of human, fallen angels, and demons against you, plans, hatched, eggs, eggs of darkness laid in waiting to be hatched against you. I command them to catch fire and burn in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> Let them crash. Let them catch fire and crash. In fact, let the eggs of intelligence of darkness that has been hatched against you, let them catch fire and burst and never see the light of day. Every demon that was sent against you, let thunder stop them on their way. Let thunder come from the glory land and stop them on their way. Let angels 15 feet tall stand and chase them away. Hallelujah. Let there be a rumble in the cloud and in the sky that put an end to every suffering and problem that you've been going through. And in every way, and in any way, where the hand of the wicked has been against you, I command their hand be tied and let them be carried back to hell from this day forward. Now let me tell you something. What I've done this morning is not a small thing. Many people will be free and set free from captivity and will be redeemed this morning. Please believe what the Bible says about your freedom, the freedom of your finances. And as God begins to bless you with so much increase, go to my site, our new site, itikaimeriministries.com, itikaimeriministry.com, ministry, not ministries.
www.idikaimeriministry.com. Go there. That is our new website. Go to contact. Contact. When you go to contact us, you will see a donation button. You can go there and donate very easily. This is so good. And also, you can go in there very soon. You start to see some articles appear that will bless your heart, new teachings, different, different stuff. God bless you and keep you. I will see you uh, at 12 noon Central Standard Time. Please go to our new site and you will see under our services, you will see the new uh, hours of our, of, of, our, of our ministry. Please follow those hours so that you know. I don't want you to get upset when you call the phone and I'm not picking up the phone and you say, I don't like you or, or all kind of stuff. People begin to say all kind of things. The reason is... I do not see any pastor doing ministry the way I've been doing it. I have been very generous to all of you. Whenever you call me, I pick up the phone and I answer you and all of that. But nowadays, we, we want to be more careful about it so that I don't break down, so that we do it right. I want you to know when I am there. And when I'm not there, you can leave me a message. I'll return your call when I'm, I'm there on the phone. I will be talking to people again today after this meeting. I'll be talking to people who need to consult with me. What I normally do on Friday night, I do it on Friday afternoon by 12 noon. And if you cannot attend, watch the videos. The videos will be there. Nowadays, the video comes out one hour after the meeting. You see the video is already online. Okay? It's already online. So you go to YouTube, you can find it. We'll also find a way to make sure the videos come to our the videos come to our, uh, what do we call it, to our new website, so that you can watch it, or even on the blogs, you can you can see, you can be everywhere now. So, um, and then after the, the 12 noon live conference call, what I hold by 12 noon is for you to pick up the phone and call the ministry phone line, 316-765-0060 or 316-765. 243-2967 or you call me directly from the conference line call call into the conference line and then tell me what the problem is but if it is a private thing then wait until after the 12 noon then you call me after that because I will be there from 1 o'clock till 6 o'clock on Fridays ministering to people non-stop and after that I will close and I will not answer the phone no more so I just want you to see the way these things are done so that everybody will be blessed. God bless you and keep you. I'll see you soon. Bye.